Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to talk about a brand new product on the market it is a brand new Android box. Always looking for the latest and greatest guys and I think I found it here with a 10.0 Android operating system. It looks like a fantastic box so let's take a look at it. All right, here it is guys, right here. It's a pretty nice looking box out. It, a little bit about the specs. I'll put all the specs for the techies down in the description section so I don't have to waste too much time on it. But basically it is a quad core CPU and uh, this particular one that I got is just the 32 gigabyte version um, for RAM, of course, four gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but let's take a look at it. Let's see the difference between this and some of the other boxes that I've reviewed in the past and see if it's worth it. So out of the box, it looks like this is actually pretty nice. I haven't hooked it up to the TV yet, so we're going to do that together here from scratch. But let's take a look at the box and what comes in it. So it's a much smaller unit, very similar to the H96 box. If you've watch that video of mine. Uh, it's very similar in size and style. Now I've done some high-end Android boxes recently where we've had multiple ports. This one only has two right here. Uh, the last box that I did had four, so that's an advantage of another box that I did. Make sure you check out my other videos if you haven't checked that box out as well. Uh, and this one has about half of the storage. So I guess if you think about it this way, you really don't need more than just two anyway because you can stick uh, a dongle for a remote in one and then an external drive in the other. Just give you an example. So like a remote like this, which you would definitely want with something like this. And if you can get a bundle with both, it would be even better. Um, you just need a little dongle like this and you would just plug that right in here into one of them. All right, so now this will be active on this unit. And then if you had an external drive, maybe something like this right here, you could just plug that right into the other one. And that's really all you need to connect to it because it does have the SD card slot here. Uh, it has built-in ethernet on the back as well as the HDMI cord. Now let's see what comes in the box. See if you get everything you need to be able to hook it up right away. So inside the box here we have, this is new to me, I haven't opened this up yet at all. Uh, you've got the power cord, okay, so that plugs right into the power outlet right there. You have the HDMI cord, so good, it does come with an HDMI cord, of course you're going to need that to be able to connect it to your TV. And then it has a remote. Let's take a look at the remote and see if it's worth it. Um, okay, so the remote is not bad. If you can get a good look at that, and I'll show it a little bit closer when I get on the TV, but it looks like that. Uh, it's definitely not this, where it has the pad. I did a video on this. If you haven't checked it out, check that video out. You might want to add something like this. I don't know how this is going to work with browsing on the internet because uh, it doesn't have a keyboard or anything on it. So I'll check that out. But this is what the box looks like. Let me unplug all these little gadgets. Looks just like this right here, right out of the box. Looks pretty cool, guys. Uh, let's plug it into the TV and check it out and really see if it's worth it. All right, I have you in here on the screen here. I will tell you the first thing I noticed right off the bat when I plugged this thing in is how fast it loaded. Having Android 10.0 is pretty amazing. The CPU speed is extremely fast on this unit. So the load up speed was very quick. And if you're familiar with Fire Sticks and how long it sometimes takes to load up when you turn it off completely, which you should do at the end of every night, uh, and Android boxes as well. Most Android boxes are fairly fast, much faster than a Fire Stick to load up but this one was instant. It was pretty crazy. I literally plugged the thing in and it just had a symbol and boom, here it was. So I was very, very impressed with that. So let's play with it a little bit and let's see what the benefits of something like this over maybe a Fire Stick or an older version of an Android box. All right, this thing's right out of the box. I haven't done anything to this thing at all other than connect to my network. I just want to show you a little bit about it. This is Android 10.0, so it's a little bit different than something you might have seen maybe with a 9.0 or even as old as a 7.0. I've done Android boxes for all different varieties of the Android service. So just off to the side here, you'll notice that there is the home button right here, which is this screen right here. Then you've got all the apps right here, easy to get to right there. And then you've got settings. So if you want to look at settings really quick, you can just look at the about and you can kind of get an idea of what it's about. It is version 10.0 of the Android service. And you can go to more settings. You can kind of look at a few things here. So let's say we go to uh, device preferences and we hit down here to storage. This is a kind of, kind of a nice thing about this is this particular unit only has 32 gigabytes, but that's okay because I've added a Seagate 
two terabyte drive and I just plugged it right into the side to the USB and boom I have access to it I can play from it I can move to it I can do all kinds of things with this it's a little bit harder to do a little bit more setup on a fire stick I know a lot of you have probably tried to do that on your fire stick and maybe maybe some of you had issues with that and it's because of the format this thing you can auto format it for yours right here once you plugged it in it's really nice so it just increases whether you get a 16 gigabyte 32 gigabyte or a 64 gigabyte it doesn't really matter because you can just connect your two terabyte drive. Now it's considered a removable storage drive. So if you do have a service, say you do an IPTV that does have a DVR feature uh, and you wanna store it directly onto your, you will need an internal drive, maybe a 64 gigabyte. So if that's something you're interested in doing, you may consider getting a larger box that has the 64 gigabytes just depends on what you want to do with it. But let's go through here real quick here and just kind of play with it a little bit and get a feel for it. I want to see if it's something you can use. So rather than going to all the techie stuff, because everybody can look up the technicals on this, you can go to Amazon, you can go to any website, Google it, and you can find all the technicals. But what does it do for you? Well, the ease of it is what I love about this one. And they really did a good job. You've got the Google Play Store right on the homepage. If you want to add something from the Google Play Store, you have an account with them, you want to add it, you can do that. Uh, it's got YouTube right there. So if you want to watch my videos, you can do it just like that. I don't blame you, I would too. Chrome, the nice thing about Chrome on an Android box versus a Fire Stick is you can actually download things for, directly from Chrome. You don't need the downloader app or any of these other apps. Literally just pull up a web page look at my APKs, type in the web address or the APK right at the top and you can download directly. You will need to do one setting and I show you how to do that setting on my support channel, Mr. Curiosity. Check that out. Uh, but that's the Chrome right there, uh, built in right to the, the main page. And you've got your My Files and anything that you, that you download as far as downloads, movies, music, anything will be right here. You have easy access to it. So what I really like about this is the the ease of it. And of course over here you've got all the hot buttons. You can just add one of your apps. Say you wanted to add Netflix to the home page. Now you can do that right like that. Now you know that with Android boxes, Netflix will just be a little bit lower quality. With my eyes, I can't even tell the difference. It is a modded version of Netflix. You can also get Amazon Prime on this. You just need to go to the Google Play Store and download Prime and you can get that on as well. But they're modded versions. So the quality won't be 4K. This is a 4K, technically 4K box. It does work mostly 4K on things like YouTube, but when you go into Netflix, it just won't because it is a modded version. So. Uh, and if you want to add something else, you can do that. If you want to add, I don't know, let's say you want to add Aptoid TV because you want to start adding some apps and you want easy access to it. Aptoid TV, I did a video on it. It's fantastic. You can find all kinds of stuff on there. All right. So what else do we have about this box that you would like to know? Updates. You can locally update it very, very quickly, just like that. Um, it's got Firefox on here as well, if you like that. It's got the casting, so you can actually cast both from an iPhone or from Android device directly to your TV. So if you're, if you, if there's something you want to show somebody on your, from your phone to your TV, you can cast it. Or if there's a specific IP TV that only works on a, maybe an Android phone, you can put it on your TV as well. So it's kind of nice and it has the cleanup feature. One cool thing about a lot of the newer Android boxes and the ones that I bring to you is down here in the bottom corner, if you can see that, the ability to delete apps and to clean your fire, your sorry, your Android box really, really fast. It's really simple. Say you wanna clean your background apps and you wanna clean up all the cache and all that. You just go right here to the cleaner, click that, and just like that, it is now clean, and I cleared 20 processes and 136 megs, just like that. Really, really easy, really quick, a whole lot easier than it is, say, on an Amazon Fire Stick. Uh, and then same with the deleting. You can delete programs. You just click on that, and you can go through and delete any program that you don't want. Uh, on your device right here, your Android box. Um, another cool thing about this, if you're an, if you are a Kodi lover, and I know there's a lot of people that still use Kodi. There's a version of Kodi Player on here. It's called a KD Player. It's 18.1 Leia, I believe, that comes on this unit. So it's not the newest version of Kodi, but it's a very stable version that works really good. So you can actually, there's hot button right on your remote here, right there. Now you can find it right here just by going into your different apps, but if you just hit that button right there, it pulls right up your Kodi player. It is nice that that is built in. So that's a cool feature about this box. So if you're looking for a budget box, you know, a very affordable box, this is probably your best bet for an Android 10.0. You're not behind the curve. You've got the latest and greatest operating system. It runs really fast. As you can see, just moving around the screen, 
whole lot faster than a Fire Stick and most Android boxes that I share with you at a budget price. You could go with an Nvidia Shield, which technically would be a little bit better box than this, but it's a whole lot more expensive. And a box like this is just so affordable. I wanna say these are under $50, and this is the 10.0. I mean, I could be wrong, it might be a few dollars more than that, but I think a, that it's about 50 bucks for this unit. And then when you add the really cool gyro pad to it, which is a must, that might be another 10 to $12. It's a really good value to get both of those together and use it, because when you're browsing the web, with all the things this can do, it's really fantastic. If you wanna play games, this is really good. If you wanna just stroll the internet, it's really, really good. If you wanna play uh, amazing uh, live TV or live movies on demand, and I show all kinds of apps that you can put on here, like Cinema HD, Zenny TV, there's HUTV, there's Cobra TV, there's so many on your TV, mate. There's a ton of different programs that you can put directly on here really easily. You don't even have to go through the hassle that you would have to on some of the uh, different boxes that you have out there. So this is a really good one and I just wanted to show it to you, introduce you to it. It's called the T95. T95, it is the Android 10.0. It's the latest and greatest at a really, really good price. If you're a techie and you want something a little bit better, feel free to go to a much more expensive box, but you're gonna play, pay five, 10 times more than something like this. And guys, this thing works great. There's, you don't really need much more than something like this. Um, unless you need more ports, you need more drives, you have more things you wanna do. But then at that point, you might consider getting maybe an Nvidia Shield, something like that. And I've done a video on Nvidia Shield, and I'll be doing another one here pretty soon. Um, but that is a little bit more high end for what most people need. If you're just a streamer, um, it's perfect. But if you're a gamer and you want a little bit more processing speed, maybe a shield might be better for you. But loading things up on this is just a snap, super easy. And you can just load anything on here. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Just want to introduce you to it. It's the T95 Android Box 10.0. This is the 32 gigabyte version. They have a 64 gigabyte as well as a 16 gigabyte version of this one right here. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in something like this. Um, and it'll give you a little bit of a discount too. Just click that link down in the description. It'll take you to Amazon. If you're an international user, I'll put an international or viewer, international viewer, I'll put a, a link down there for you as well. But if you're a US uh, viewer, you'll want to get it on Amazon with the link down below, get a better price. Thanks again for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks. I just want to give a big thank you to those of you that took time out of your day to watch this video. If you'll do us a huge favor, if you haven't already done so, just hit that subscribe button right next door. And if you like this video and you want to see more, we have a video on the far side there we think you're going to love. Thanks again for watching our video. 